Another day, another announcement. Halloween Hornets Orlando is going crazy this week and just announced the fourth original haunted house coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Today, Wednesday, May 22nd at 10.33 a.m., we got announced the Museum Deadly Exhibits. This is an all-new haunted house concept, and the house description reads as follows. You decide to visit the new folklore museum exhibit, The Rotting Stone, when an evil escapes from within, destroying everything in its path. Now, that was the description on Twitter or X. On Facebook, for some reason, the house descriptions are a little bit different, so I'm going to read that one as well. It says, you are going to check out The Rotting Stone, the local folklore museum's infamous new exhibit. An evil spirit escapes from within, possessing the other displays, and decaying everything in its path. So yeah, I don't know, for some reason they do a couple different descriptions on different social media platforms. And I wanted to read out the Facebook description because this is an all new idea, so we're looking for as much information as possible about this new house. And there is a lot of information hidden within that description. But first, I want to look at the key art itself. Pretty simple when it comes to font and logo. It's just called The Museum. I would have liked maybe a more enticing or interesting name, but maybe that has something to do with the overall theming. Maybe it's purposely ambiguous. Regardless, if you look behind the logo itself, you get to see what looks to be the artifact in question. The artifact that is triggering all the evil going on in this museum. And looking at it on first glance, it looks a lot like Fear's Lantern. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one like Fear's Lantern, but sort of the shape mixed with the vines does remind me quite a bit of Fear's Lantern. Maybe has some tie to Fear's backstory. We do know Fear is an ancient entity, and of course we're studying folklore and ancient history in this museum. No, I'm not sure if this is a design coincidence or if maybe they are leading to something. I feel like if it was to be Fear's Lantern, they would have put that, you know, in the description. Regardless, I really like the design of this image, of this artifact, of the background. This looks really dark. We've been getting a lot of campy houses with major suites and slaughter cinema, even a little bit of Goblin's Feast. But this house looks like it's going to be a little more dark, a little more creepy, a little more scary, which is a good balance to have. Have those funny houses, but also have some, you know, darker fare. Moving to the description, though, we do get nods to folklore being sort of the theme for this museum, as mentioned before. We're not sure exactly what folklore will be on display. Will it be mythologies from around the world, like we've talked about? Will it be a specific mythology? I think they're purposely being ambiguous to suggest that it could be different mythologies, different folklore from around the world. We learn that a mysterious spirit is going to possess the displays, which I think is a really cool concept. I think that could be really exciting for this haunted house. Could play a lot with things blending in, whether that's into walls, or maybe like mannequin misdirect scares. They love to do those at Halloween Horror Nights. And I love how they emphasize the sort of decay that's going on in this museum. I'm hoping for sort of a progression where maybe as you go deeper into the house, it becomes more decayed and rotted. We have the rotting stone as the name of the museum exhibit itself. So maybe Maybe they pull something off like Revenge of the Tooth Fairy where the house becomes more decrepit the farther you go into it. Generally, this sounds a lot like the Curse of Pandora's Box, that house from Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Very similar setting and sort of concept where this evil spirit is unleashed, takes over all these different artifacts. I think that could be really, really interesting. Looks like they're definitely going to lean into the story on this one. This could be one of our more story-driven haunted houses because my interest is immediately piqued as to what that spirit is. Does it have any relation to maybe fear or what has come before in general? Or is it something all new that will We'll come to learn about in the lead up to the event and the event itself. Honestly, I think this is the most curious haunted house we've gotten so far, the most ambiguous, one that'll be very interesting to talk about as we lead up to the event, and one I'm pretty excited for. I'll admit I'm probably the least excited for this one out of the four, but I am looking to be surprised with the Museum Deadly exhibits. I am waiting to see what they have in store for us. As a big history nerd, I love all that stuff. I'm super excited to see what they represent in this house and how they twist it and morph it to fit that signature HHN vibe. But enough about what I think what do you think about the Museum Deadly exhibits coming to Halloween Horror Nights 33? Are you excited for this one? What mythologies or folklore would you like to see represented in this haunted house? Whether it's specific figures or just different cultural items, what do you want to see in this museum? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the history
history, lore, and so much more about Halloween Horror Nights and Universal in general, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would be truly, truly appreciated. Let me know you like this style of video and you want me to make more of them. It seems like we're getting a new original announcement every single day this week, my friends. So I think it'll be very likely that you'll see me again tomorrow talking about another haunted house coming to Halloween Horror Nights 33. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and I'll of course see you in the next one. Be sure to stay spooky, and take care everybody.